It was in March 2018 that we, the CRC, finally observed what community members had been describing to us. Pockets of dead fish, crocodiles with whitish skin, that were also a bit lethargic and even young crocodiles with no teeth. These observations, along with the signs of eutrophication in the river, were all the red flags that the environment was in a dire state. In September 2018, the reality of the pollution issue came to light when we conducted a necropsy of a five-foot crocodile that was captured close to Bankethas Bridge within six hours of death. Its body was already in a state of deterioration, as if dying for months. Fast forward to May 2019, and we conducted another necropsy of a crop. Similar to the other necropsy, we could not conduct a thorough necropsy as the organs were highly deteriorated, such as the kidneys were practically dissolved. With the data from our surveys along the river, as well as the two necropsies, the CRC realized these animals were being exposed to an external stressor in the river for a length of time. Traces of pesticides were discovered in Morlet's crocodiles in the New River in the 1990s, so the river has been suffering from pollution for decades. However, another factor combined with the pesticides has pushed the river to its tipping point, most likely. The CRC has been asked by the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Forestry, the Environment, Sustainable Development, and Climate Change under the authority of Forest Department to further our research to pinpoint the root of the pollution issue, in addition to gather the information needed to prevent such an event happening elsewhere in the country. CRC will be collaborating with ERI at University of Belize as well as other international colleagues in addition to currently obtaining international support in regards to assisting us with water, soil, and tissue sample analysis. CRC will be conducting monthly surveys, taking an interdisciplinary approach to solve the issue, in addition to assisting the key stakeholders in cleaning up the river. The CRC understands how important the New River is, not only for wildlife, but also for the communities that depend on the health of the river for their livelihoods. We can all take part in the revitalization of the river, ensuring that this river ecosystem thrives for future generations.